What is up guys, as you know, I am TDSpox5 here, and I wanted to show you guys this awesome website. You probably have already heard about it. It is the world's largest free Minecraft server host, and basically what it is, you sign up, and you get a free Minecraft server that has almost no lag. Well, for if you don't get any lag, if um you have Optifine on, there's here and there lag. But as you can see, if you go to adernos.org, www.adernos.org, I'll leave the link in the description. So don't worry about anything. Just focus on the video. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to get a free, listen, free hosted Minecraft server. The only downside about it is that plugins are a little bit sketchy like they don't work all the time and you can only make um you can only do like a server type thing when there's no slots because right now there is I cannot get on because the almost all the RAM thing used up and there is more than enough running servers and slots are almost full so technically I cannot get on right now but later on when the thing dies down I can that is only really big downline to it but I'm gonna show you how um, after you get on this website, you can look at all that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you how to create up your account. After you do this, you want to get on the website, you want to go to sign up. Um, as you all know, my email is tdcrox5 at gmail.com. Um, oops. There we go. Um, as you can see, it always says the username is taken because I... Oh, I made it. Mess that up. Uh, what did I type my email at? CDC. Man, I'm messing this all up. It's not that hard, guys. It really isn't. CDCX5 at gmail.com. Basically, you do all that. Type in your passwords and stuff. Make sure they match, even though it doesn't at all. Um... Just do all that, then after it'll ask you for your verification, and I'll be back when I log into my account. Hit pause. Okay, guys, I'm back, and the only thing that really sucks also is that you have to like click on these things to get them away. But after you do that, you want to go to create a server. Obviously, I already have one, so it says my server. After you create a server, it should look something like this. Um, I have mine at 1.7.9, so we can have mods with Forge, because technically they, or they don't have um, uh, 1.8 Forge yet. And the reason I don't use 1.7.10 is because they don't have it. Uh, do I know why? No. But, basically, um, this is my IP address. Um, I'm only allowing my friends right now to join, because we're like building up a server. We might allow it to the public, where you guys can play. I don't know. It's just that I might have to get like pay for it, because if a lot of you guys want to play, I have to have more slots. But, um, yeah, you can just easily add an amount of players, whitelist people, uh, online premium, uh, game mode is survival, creative, or adventure for, like, um, jump maps and stuff. Difficulty, I just said it's normal, PvP, command block, fly, animals, monsters, and etc. It's really, really easy. You can even upload a map of your own that you wanted. You could download the map after you, like, if you want to leave this website, you could just download the map and then upload it to a new, new um, website if you want. Um, so yeah, overall it's a really good server. You can, um, pick the software and plugins you want. You can pick the mod pack. And I never really got out of that, but, uh, you can do, um, it's full vanilla Minecraft, uh, whitelists and stuff like that. For some reason, I've had, like, problems. It always, like, deletes them every single time I get on. So I don't know what's up with that. But if you want plugins, like I said before, they're not really working for me. You might have to get them working and then tell me how to do it. But I've tried, like, these, um, basically you just go in and install, um, plugins and then you can search for one whatever you want like hub um search that it'll give you like stuff for the like hub to like slash home slash hub stuff like that and basically after you do all that put in your plugins or whatever you hit start server it'll create the server give you the ip address if you have whitelist on make sure you whitelist yourself because it will not let you on turn yourself to game mode one if you want to make an awesome start and yeah, that's basically it. I just showed you how to make your own Minecraft server in about six six minutes. How much long was it recording? Four minutes. I told you how to make your own Minecraft server in four minutes. So I think that's regular time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna try to find better server hosts in the in the um future. Don't get me wrong, this is an amazing website. I give all credit to them, but. 
there is a lot of problems with it that I've heard. Um, so I'm going to try to find a better one. I'm just saying this is a good one to start off with. This is what I use now. And overall, it's a good server. Maybe later on in the day, if I don't edit this, which I'm probably not gonna lazy, um, after the thing opens, I'll show you my server. Um, and give your opinion, give your guys's, get your guys's opinion, sorry. Get your, your guys's, I can't even talk now. <laughs> get your guys's opinion on it. And, yeah, um, the only thing I also have to say is you can't use more than, more slots than you have. Say like if I set it to four players. I go on, I'm the only one playing. In about nine minutes, it'll shut my server down. Because you have to be considerate, because you're taking up, um, slots that other people can use. It makes sense, um, but the only thing bad is, like, your friends get being late, and you already set it up, and you don't feel like restarting the server, then you can't do that. I mean, you can, but you just can't leave it at, like, four players for, like, the whole entire day. And what a lot of people do is they'll just leave their computer on the whole time so they have their server no matter what. But I don't like doing that. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to let other people have it. They're, I don't know if they're going to be nice back or not, but it doesn't seem like I haven't had... On my server up to be since like I only get it like uh five around five ish, and then like between eight in the morning, so I have a lot of time to play it. But um yeah, it's just a good overall server. If you guys want to check it out, the link in the description. Don't forget to follow my Twitter, where I will post um more videos like this. And I want to dearly, dearly apologize for Monday's video that went up at three o'clock in the morning. Um, let me tell you a story, um, a story time, yay! Basically, what happened was, is I was sitting in my living room, messing with the Xbox my friend just bought for me. So yeah, we have an Xbox, but I, I don't have Xbox Live or anything, I'll give you my gamer tag and stuff out later. But, um, what happened was, is it was like around 2.30, uh, Eastern Standard Time, and, uh, everything went out in my house. I was like, okay, made sure all the breakers were good, stuff like that, everything was down, I called... Um, my parents, um, they said that, uh, there's been power outage due to high winds. I live in Ohio, um, by Lake Erie. Um, I'm not gonna give my exact location out, cause you know, little pedophiles and such. Um, no, I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, there was a power outage, about 2,000 homes, three miles from here, so they had to pair those homes. Then they had to come back. They didn't get repaired until 3 o'clock in the morning, so as soon as it went back on, I came upstairs to where my, um, computer is, uploaded it, as soon as Wi-Fi back, Wi-Fi came back on, and I uploaded that straight video, straight that video straight for you guys, because I wanted to get it up, and I know I feel really bad about doing it, and a lot of people probably called me lazy because I have the day off. You guys know I had the whole week off, and now I'm rambling, but I had the whole week off because I do. I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. It's not my fault. If um, I could have picked the Wi-Fi, I would have picked it to be on for the rest of my life. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a very, very simple, simple video. Um, very, very easy to set up. Very user-friendly. Um, if you go to home, like um, you could just see how much the CPU uh, is running. Not yours, but the server's. Uh, how much RAM it has, players, slots, and running servers, blah, blah, blah. You can, like, look at, um, all this other stuff, like, about, board, imprint. I don't even know what half the stuff is. I just use it. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video for the second time. I repeat myself a lot if you didn't notice. I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for liking this video and commenting. Commenting. Comment. Commenting. What? I don't know. Just, like, write down. Like, tip, 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 tip. I don't know if you can hear that. Just type a message. And you might be featured in Friday's video. Where I gave Friday shout outs. Now I'm rambling a lot. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the links I have always in my description. My good friends. And yeah, don't if you have any questions, just ask me. I might do a review on any of your questions. Featured in Friday video. Feel like I'm missing something? But I'm not. So I'll see you guys in the next one. What is up, guys? It's Teachrox5 here, and why did I say my name twice? This is the same video. I keep thinking it's a different video. But as you can see, I did get my server to start. It is not 134. It's like three hours. Uh, so then I like, to need to go to my BIOS and change my time, but I don't feel like doing that. So it's actually like 4 o'clock, 4 or 5 o'clock, and as you can see, I have four minutes to get back get on the server until I get logged off.
But, since I'm really quick about it, this is what your server, I think, always should look like, the little symbol, I think. But then after you connect, it sh that should that timer should go away. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, that's going to go away in a second. I'll just show you guys. But, um, yeah, this is my world. Actually, let me go over here real quick. I have that. And then... I'm practicing my commands, so... Must lagging a lot, jeez. Basically, this is my world. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a maybe a survival type world. This is where you would start off. Don't ask me why I did pistons. I don't even know. But as you can see, this is where you enter. You enter through here, enter through a vine, and you are in. You got this little pool thing. And yeah, when you start off, you all have a chest full of leather cap, tunic, uh, stone sword stake. And I'm really sorry it's lagging. I don't know why it's lagging so badly. Um, oak wood and stuff like that. So, did it stop? Yeah, okay, see, after you log on and re it recognizes you've been on, it will stop. And you can be on for as long as you want. But yeah, basically this is a quick rundown. I don't know if I'm going to make this public or not, but this is like a full enchantment table to level 30. As you can see, I have my head. I gotta do that whole command, whatever again. I did my head, that used to be there, my one friend Ryan's head, and then my brother's head. So yeah, where you created the server, I created the spawn, all the spawn was due to me. Um, this is supposed to be working, but I'm still figuring it out, figuring a good way to do it, I guess you can say. It's supposed to be a mob spawner that spawns mobs, or food. But, it's not working, so I'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions, then you can do that. But, what my friend did that I did not do, I did not take any credit, uh, I did help build it, though. He said, this is the city limit. Follow I typed all this and made the wool and everything. He said, follow wool for the TARDIS. Or I said, follow wool for the TARDIS. And you come over here, and then TARDIS is right there. And then this is the wild. After you enter here, you are out and free to go wherever you must to survive. But, let's go to the TARDIS. You open the door, you shut the door, you walk in, pressure plate, and you get out of art. Yeah, I helped build this. Did all the ceiling, did all the walls. He's doing all the redstone stuff. As you fall through here, grab that glass so I don't destroy as much as I should. Yeah, he has a bunch of redstone stuff. He's really, really good. He's really a Doctor Who fan. So, yeah. That's my friend Ryan, by the way. And I did this. It's massive. Looks cool from the top, though. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed... Um this video I, I didn't know if I was going to redo this so I'm sorry for me saying it probably twice I might have to cut it out but yeah, I'm probably gonna get lazy and not do it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe don't forget to check out Adernos they are not sponsoring me in any way um, I just think there's a it's awesome to have something for free to try out and if you like a Minecraft server with play with your friends and stuff then it's good to have so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for the second time because you know I always repeat myself and this all works with time. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video because that's what I'm trying to do. Make sure it's you guys like it more than I like it. Or have it even. Now I'm just starting to ramble, so I'm going to say bye. I have a hard time saying bye, if you didn't notice that. Like, I, I just can't part from people. Where? Oh, and every once in a while, we'll say server save the world. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want more Minecraft, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you might get featured in Friday's video. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.